Hi everybody, we're working through the Math 31 trigonometry review. And so we're working through this related rate problem here. This is a six meter ladder is leaning against the wall and begins to slide. The foot of the ladder slides outward at a rate of 0.2 meters per second. At what rate is the angle between the ladder and the wall changing when the top is three meters from the ground? Okay, let's just take a quick look at what, what's going on here. So here's our ladder. It's six meters long, okay? Um, and let's maybe call this X, we'll call this Y here. Okay, and we're going to assume that the wall is, is perpendicular to the ground here. It says the foot of the ladder slides outward at a rate of 0.2 meters per second. Now, what that tells me is that dx by dt is going to be 0 0.2. Okay, and it says at what rate is the angle between the ladder and the wall? Okay, well, that's this angle right here. Okay, changing when the top of the wall is 3 meters from the ground. Okay, well, there's a lot going on here. Uh, I suspect that probably what we want to do here is is come up with some sort of uh, a, a way of, of handling um, this question here. We want to take this angle here, obviously we want to relate this, and we want to relate it to this opposite side here. Um, because that's the information that we're, we're given the change in. And so what we might say here, for example, is the sine of theta is going to equal x over 6. Okay. Now the nice thing about that is six is a constant. Six isn't going to change, so so that's good. You you want to you want to have these things um, with as few variables as possible. Here I've only got the two, and so now if I take the derivative of this, the derivative of sine, okay, is going to be cosine cosine of theta. Now, I'm, but remember I'm taking the derivative with respect to time here, and the theta is, is is a variable here, so I got to do this implicitly. And this is going to end up being 1 over 6 dx by dt. Well, the nice thing is we know what dx by dt is. I am looking for uh, d theta by dt. And so I've got cosine of, of theta here. So this is going to be d theta by dt will equal 1 over 6 cosine of theta dx by dt. Okay, now I just need to evaluate this. Well, this is going to be 1 over 6. Uh, I'll deal with the cosine in just a second. Well, the dx by dt is going to be 0.2. Now, the, really, the nice thing about this is I already know what cosine of, of theta is. I don't even have to figure out what the angle is because this is my angle theta, and the cosine is going to be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So let's just 3 over 2. Let's try 3 over 2. 3 over 6, which is going to end up becoming 1 over 2. And so the cosine is just going to end up being a half. And so really what this boils down to here is this is going to end up being 0.2, okay, divided by 3. And what we get here is 0, 0.0, um, I don't know, does it, I'm looking for what it says to round to, and it really doesn't say anything here. So that's going to be uh, 0 0.067, okay, it goes on there. But this is going to end up being radians per second, okay? That's the rate at which uh, the angle between the ladder and the wall is changing when the top is three meters from the ground.